I'm here with uh, Alex and Ethan. A great game, lads. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Uh, great response, especially with all the critics saying, um, you know, we're going to miss Vardy in to then put four past the Swansea team, which aren't a walkover. It's a great testament to what this team spirit has. Ethan, a one-man team. That's what Leicester are, apparently. Yeah, I think obviously everyone was a bit worried uh, when we lost Vardy. I think what was interesting for me was the tactics in that one. You know, everyone's saying, who are we going to get in for Vardy to, to stretch that back line, to really pin him back? And actually, we didn't need to. He played his show in a different role, had him holding it up, Shinji just off him. And, you know, we showed we can play differently and still win. I think it was a really, really good performance. I'm going to ask, how fantastic were the fans today? It was an amazing atmosphere. Yeah, it was bouncing constantly from minute one all the way through. When the first one went in, you could see the nerves starting to go. Second one came in, that was it. It was just party atmosphere. It was like a carnival in there. Ethan, if you're going to write a script for today's game, that was it, wasn't it? It's perfect, perfect. You know, losing Vardy, we needed to show we've got goals in the team. We need to show we're still defensively sound. We can still stretch teams. We've shown everything today. Ranieri, again, spot on with his tactics, spot on with his subs. Nothing to complain about. That's a real statement after Spurs got the 4-0 win the other day to show we can do it too. I hear that uh, Vardy was sitting in one of the executive boxes with David Nugent, apparently. So I should think they'll be having a party after that one. Yeah, knowing what Nugent and Vardy get up to on their social media antics, I can only imagine what they're doing. Hopefully non-alcoholic ones, but uh, yeah, I can definitely imagine what they're doing now. I think it's time for us all to have a little relax and then we can all settle down. And, in, and I'm not going to say we're going to enjoy tomorrow's game against Spurs, Ethan, uh, watching it on telly, but it was a little better than last week when it was a draw. So it feels like once you've got the three points, Spurs can't make up any ground. So let's just let them do what they do. If they drop points, brilliant. If they don't, we've still got that five-point buffer. Thanks, chaps. Man United next. We'll see you all there.